The Singapore Police Force SPF is investigating possible offences at two separate events related to the Israel-Hamas war, including a public gathering along Orchard Road. Both events took place on February 2. A group of about 70 people had assembled along Orchard Road at about 2 p.m. and marched towards the Astana, carrying umbrellas with watermelon images in support of the Palestinian cause. They may have committed an offence for organising a public assembly without a permit, said the police in a media release on Tuesday, February 13, noting that the Astana is a particularly security-sensitive area designated as a prohibited area. Furthermore, their actions advocate the political causes of other countries and have the potential to stir up tensions and lead to public disorder, said SPF, adding that several police reports were lodged by members of the public. According to social media posts, participants of the Letters for Palestine event walked from Plaza Singapura to the Astana to deliver letters addressed to Prime Minister Li Xin Long. The second case that police are investigating involves an online video of a private event where a subject was seen live-streaming publicly and chanting from the river to the sea. Others were seen chanting, Palestine will be free in response. The phrase, from the river to the sea, is associated with calls for the destruction of Israel, SPF noted, adding that the use of such slogans can lead to racial tensions in Singapore and may be an offence. The investigations come amid heightened global tensions as the Israel-Hamas war drags on. Singapore police also said they are aware of calls to protest against Israel at the Singapore Air Show, such as gathering for a sit-in and pasting stickers related to the conflict. The Singapore Air Show to be held from February 20 to February 25, features displays by international aerospace and defence companies, including those from Israel. Police warn that organising or participating in a public assembly or procession without a permit is illegal. Affixing posters, placards or other documents, including stickers, on any properties without permission also constitutes an offence. In a Facebook post, Second Minister for Home Affairs Josephine Teo said that the police's advisory is not meant to prevent anyone from expressing their concerns or even their strong views on this issue. But there are ways of doing so that do not break our laws or cause a deep rift in our society, she added. Remember, we cannot hope to end conflicts by starting more conflicts of our own. Instead, we can respectfully share our views and contribute to humanitarian relief efforts. Let us continue to care for those affected by the ongoing conflict and in so doing, maintain our own unity. SPF said it has assessed that there are public safety and security concerns associated with public assemblies and processions related to the conflict. Noting incidents of violence, in countries such as China and the United States. Last October, a six-year-old Palestinian-American resident was stabbed by his landlord in an alleged hate crime in Chicago. In the same month, an Israeli employee from the Israeli embassy in Beijing was stabbed in front of a supermarket. The current peace and harmony we have between the different races and religions in Singapore cannot be taken for granted. We must not let events happening externally affect the internal situation within Singapore, said SPF. Given the sensitivity of the topic and the volatility of the situation in Gaza, there is a real risk that such assemblies and processions could give rise to public disorder and tensions between the different communities in Singapore. The police urge members of the public to engage in responsible and respectful discussions on this subject and avoid making insensitive or offensive remarks that advocate the political causes of other countries or foreign entities. We understand the strong sentiments some Singaporeans have on the conflict, but nevertheless, we should not be engaging in discourse, chanting slogans, 
or carrying out physical protests and demonstrations that could hurt another ethnic or religious community's feelings, or which are racially offensive in nature, or which could lead to public disorder and societal tensions, SPF said. If we do not conduct ourselves in a responsible manner over this conflict, it can very easily destroy the precious racial and religious harmony we have in Singapore. The police added that they will take firm action against anyone who makes comments or acts in a manner which could potentially cause ill will and hostility between different groups in Singapore or lead to public disorder.